Well, welcome to this exciting video. I always get asked all the time, how do you install Rhapsody? Uh, so I use QEMU or QEMU or whatever the hell you want to call it. But I use version 0 0.9 because it's got a great bus mouse patch and it's, um, it's very fast. And it's uh, portable, which I enjoy. So uh, let's get down to uh, how to do it. Uh, first thing we need to do is create a hard drive. So it's QEMU-IMG, create, slash F. I'm going to make a VMDK. This is a VMware disk format in case I want to uh, export it to VMware. I'm going to call it wrap.vmdk. Now, this thing has all kinds of file size problems because it's so old. So I'm not going to even give it two gigabytes. I'm giving it 2,000 megabytes. And just like that, we have our hard drive. So now, this is the part that stumbles everyone, is we have to go ahead and uh, set up all the command line parameters. So if you look at what we downloaded from WinWorld PC, we have some install guide we're never going to read, an ISO, and then we have boot floppies. So let me copy those boot floppies to my working directory. Yes, I assume you know how to use the command line. So QMU needs to know where its bias is. So it's PC-bias. We're going to limit it to 64 megabytes of RAM. The first hard drive is going to be our VMDK. I'm going to put the CD-ROM for Apple release. The ISO. We turn the serial ports off. Turn the parallel ports off. Nick model equals NE2K ISA dash net user. I just set up a simple network. Although uh, for the install, it won't matter and it won't work, but yeah. Reader TCP for 23, 23, 23. FDA. Now, of course, for the two floppies so we boot off the installation and we go boot a too many parallel ports okay I guess it really wants to have one open the hard disk oops all right so yeah sometimes even I struggle with this so here's the emulator we're always going to go in verbose mode and here we go, we're starting the installation. Um, I guess just so you can see slightly better. There, so now it's not quite as cluttered. So we're gonna install in English. Yes, we're prepared. Now, this is the other part that screws people up on using QMU, is how to change um, like disks and stuff. So you hold down Control, Alt, number two. And then now we're into the console prompt. So go info block. And this will show us that our CD-ROM is mounted and the hard drive and of course the floppy. So now we can go change, FDA, Rhapsody. So let's spell it R-H-A-P-O, Rap, S-O-D-Y, R2, X86, drivers. So now we should be able to see, yeah, so the floppy disk has changed. So control, alt, and number one. And we're back to the main menu. So we can just press enter here. Now we need to tell it to use the Intel P2 PCIe ID driver. So it's option number four. And that should be it. And now we're in the graphical console. And it should boot up and then ask us to install. All right, so let's uh, get ready to install Rhapsody. We're gonna install it onto our hard drive. You notice it sees 1,999 of the 2,000 rounding errors, I guess. So we're gonna install there. We're gonna use the whole hard drive. And you notice it gets smaller again, partitions, slices, and stuff. And yes, install. 
Now, I can tell you, compared to other emulators, this is insanely fast. The only catch with QEMU is the, um, the PS2 mouse emulation does not like um, Next Step, Open Step, or Rhapsody. I have no idea what its problem is. But there's this bus mouse patch that I've already applied that uh, it'll work with. So let's see, we're done with this. So remove the floppy drive. So back to here in the console and you just go eject FDA. And you'll see the floppy disk A not inserted. Control Alt 1 back here. So go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to restart the VM after unmounting everything. I'm pretty sure this will not work because QMU is pretty stupid about booting devices. Yeah. So it's still trying to boot from floppy that doesn't exist. So we close. And now we can go ahead and remove up to the FDA. All right, we'll grab the machine back here. Do minus V so we can see what's going on. So now we're booting off the hard drive. And this will just take a moment. So you see we booted, it loaded some device drivers. Now we're into the second or graphical setup. So clicking in here, you can see it's grabbed the mouse, press control alt to exit the grab. That's fine. So click into the monitors. We can say we have a two megabyte uh, Sears Logic video card. So let's add that. And the mouse, we need to remove the PS2 mouse because it detects it, but it doesn't work. Again, don't know why. Um, there's no driver for default for the NE2000, so don't bother there. We're not using SCSI. I'm not even going to bother with the uh, audio drivers. And then if you go over to the box with the question mark, this will show you everything else in here. So we have our IDE, floppy, PS2 keyboard, has a generic PCI, and ISA, ESA. I suppose if you're on a real machine, bus mastering and stuff might matter, but for here it doesn't, so we're just gonna say done and save. All right, now just like next step or open step, select what software you want. I'm just gonna install everything. Well, you know what? It's made for the sake of being silly. Let's get rid of Japanese. Is there anything else we really don't need? Eh, that's fine. So we hit install. And again, this is so much more quicker than a uh, normal machine. This is one of the few times QEMU <laughs> is super fast. And this is a very old version. So we are almost there. You see we're 88% done. I guess we're going to hang for a little bit. There we go. Rhapsody has been installed. Okay, so we hit the restart. And here we go, restarting the computer. All right, so we can do one fun thing here, which is now that we've installed, I'm going to change the CD-ROM. I'm going to go ahead and try to do something stupid on the fly here. Like this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and boot into single user mode. Okay, so you're supposed to fsck-y, your root, so hda1, whoops, that's hda1. One A, all right, what was your way, fsck-y dev hd, I should have had my notes out, there we go, that makes more sense. And then mount right your root. So I'm going to make a mount, these uh, mount cd, 960 dev sd, 
zero uh, a slash mnt. So if we look in the mount, I just mounted my CD-ROM. Let's go private devices. So for ls, so there's all these ones here by default. So tar x f mount n e two k dot tar. All right, so that should have copied in the device driver. I'm not going to update the kernel or anything that crazy. So let's reboot and uh, let's continue the graphical setup. And hope that my air conditioner is not making too much noise. But depending on how well this behaves, we're almost done. So it's mounted the hard drive. Let's see if it picked up any network. No. Nope. All right. So now you can tell we're in super VGA mode. Welcome to the setup assistant. Oops. The mouse tracking is really terrible. So if you try this, it's not you. I'm going to say no network for now. Come on, mouse. There's um, there's no Hong Kong. It's all Singapore. <laughs> Even if you're in Australia, congratulations, you live in Singapore. Uh, I'm not going to bother fixing the date and time right now. Uh, let's see, do you wish to create a local user account? Nope, don't need it. Because again, this is virtual, it's not real. Yeah, show me the login prompt, that's fine. It makes shutting it down easier. I don't need passwords. So let's go ahead with this change and then reboot again. So I guess for bonus points, I could show you how to set up the sound blaster, but you know, Rhapsody kind of sucks for uh, video games. So I always boot verbose. And let's see what we got. Yeah, it didn't auto discover a network card. I guess you can't blame it. So long as root. And here we go. We're actually um, we're installed now. That was uh, that was it. We're now in Rhapsody. So if you want to go ahead and enjoy, um, I don't know, Mandelbrot. Uh, discover itself. There we go. So yeah. Isn't that fantastic? I forget how many colors this thing picked up by default. But in this old version of QAMU, it's very picky about its uh, settings and resolutions for the Super Video. So be happy this is working as well as it is. You get the idea. Um, yeah, so this works just like um, OS X server. Oh, OS 10 1.0. This is basically what it is. Uh, you name OS A. So the uh, where to go from here is um, Darwin, which is when they open source the uh, the shipping components. And uh, this beta, of course, is like a year older than that. So they do collide. So it's not going to be pretty, but you know it's it's fun to do. But for now. I just want to do this one uh, one video of uh, how to install Rhapsody on QAMU. As you can see, maybe I've either done it too often or it's um, it's really not that difficult. So for all you operating system tourists, you, know, you can enjoy. So have fun, and that should be it.